Okay, I am here at the hospital getting an MRI done with contrast and just wanted to kind of show the process. I'm here at the hospital, checked in, had to do all the paperwork, etc. Asked me a list of questions and then I had to fill out a list of questions. Um, if you have any metal in you, piercings, etc, etc. So I got this IV put in me. Um, they flushed it with saline. They said... Um, some people Death taste the saline, some people don't. I actually Death tasted the saline. Uh, no big deal. And now over the next half an hour, I have to drink this. So I drink this, I space it out over 15 minutes, and then the next 15 minutes I have to drink this. Then they're gonna come back and get me and basically um, go from there. Hopefully I can video some more. As you can see, I have my little one here with me, but somebody is uh, watching her here at the hospital while mommy gets her MRI. Oh, you okay? And um, so this, I guess, doesn't taste terrible, but it still tastes pretty disgusting. And uh, the consistency of it, it's kind of watery, if you see. It's not not too thin, but it's not really thick. I thought it was going to be thick, thick. As you can see, it's kind of watery. So, um, and then they also said they're going to give me glucagon. It kind of slows down my bowels, a small amount of glucagon that they have to put in me. So, yeah, um, I'll give some more updates here in a bit. Okay, I had to take everything off except for my underwear, and I get to wear these wonderful hospital pants in two gowns, one facing the front, one facing the back, and they gave me some footies too that I'm about to put on. Footies! Okay, so this is my MRI experience. This is exactly uh, what the machine looked like. Yours may or may not look like this, but mine looked very similar to this, and um, this is a picture here that I'm showing you, but... I'm going to tell you about my experience and I have a list of things so let me get started so the whole process and again this was an, an abdominal MRI with contrast took about an hour um, mostly it was without the contrast and at the very last bit I want to say the last 10 minutes um, the IV was already in my arm so they injected the contrast in me they also injected the rest of the glucagon in me too and like I said, that was for about the last 10 minutes. Um, I was told that the dye doesn't make you feel warm anymore. However, as soon as they injected it into me, and I'm a very sensitive person, so I'm not surprised I felt, felt this, but I felt very warm. It was kind of a weird feeling, but since I knew um, other people that had the dye put into them felt warm, it didn't make me feel scared, like scared or anything. Um... Let's see. I also asked them, am I going to pee? And it looked like dye coming out. And they said, it's all going to be excreted by the kidney. So you're not even really going to notice it. And um, so far, I haven't. Um, so yeah, like I said, it took about an hour. Um, there was air blowing through the tube, as you can see here. Um, you're on this table and you go into this tube. And depending on what you're getting an MRI for, um, your whole body may or may not be in it, only half your body may be in it, etc. Pretty much my whole body was in it, my head was just right inside, and, um, but like I said, they had a fan, and again, everything I'm saying, I don't know if this is all MRIs, but this is my experience, um, they had a fan blowing through, so it was really nice just to feel that breeze. Um, it was very, very noisy. Um, it almost sounded like somebody was inside the machine banging and hitting on it, but that's just the magnets and the machine taking the pictures. Um, there was an automated lady inside the, <laughs> inside the machine, um, and she told me when to hold my breath. And I didn't realize that I was going to have to hold my breath so much. I held my breath quite a lot during this test, and I'm not very good at holding my breath. Um, but I just thought about why it's getting done. I thought about something else, and I was able to do it. I think the longest I had to hold my breath, because it was various uh, times, but the longest I think was about 23, 24 seconds. And I did feel like I was going to pass out, but I didn't, and I was fine. Um, also, what you can do, and I really feel like the tech plays a huge role in your experience, you can just tell the tech to update you because the tech can talk to you through the machine. And I told the tech, just update me as much as you can. Tell me what's going on. Tell me how much longer we have in the test. And she really did a good job at that. 
Um, so that was nice. Sometimes whenever she tried to talk to me, the magnet started moving and I couldn't hear everything she was saying. But for the most part, it was pretty good. Um, I also was able to hold a little, um, it was like a little ball. So if there was any problems, all I had to do was push the ball and she would, you know, see what, what I needed. Um, towards the end of the test, I had to pee so bad, but I was able to hold off because I had to drink those two bottles of stuff. Um, but I was able to hold off and use the restrooms right after. Um, and right here, the table moves, like I said, it goes in and out of the machine. Um, well, not really in and out of the machine. When I was in the machine and they had to, I guess, get different images, it would move kind of back and forth inside the machine. I never really came out of the machine. <clears throat> um, they do put earplugs in. It's just the, these foam earplugs. Um, when I had, I had a brain MRI scan done as well, and I was able to listen to headphones, uh, but I wasn't able to do that in this case because okay, I as I was saying, um, just couldn't have headphones on because, um, I needed to hear what the machine was telling me as to when to hold my breath. Um, now I'm not claustrophobic, but I couldn't see out at all. Um, unless I kind of tilted my head back, then I could see out. Um, the machine, when I had my brain scan, there was like a little window that you could basically see the ceiling, which wasn't anything. But um, for this, you couldn't see out, um, like I said, unless you tilted your head back. And like I said, I'm not claustrophobic, but I can see why somebody would get like a really scary feeling in there. So um, my advice is to not even think about it. If you think about it, um, you'll probably freak out. But if you don't think about it and you just think of something else and keeping your eyes closed, that was a huge one. I tried to keep my eyes closed as much as possible and just pretended like I was in a big open area. And amazingly, that did help. Um, and I also thought, because sometimes like when I think of doing things for myself, I kind of give up. But I kept thinking like, I need to do this because I need to be healthy for my daughter who is just going to be two years old. I kept thinking like, I'm doing this for her. So that made me like be able to hold my breath, stay with it, not freak out in the, in the tube. <laughs> so I think that if you think of a bigger reason, um, you'll be able to get through it better. And okay, so that was pretty much the, um, the experience. Now, the symptoms afterwards were probably worse than the entire experience. Um, I would say about an hour or so after, I started getting really bad stomach cramps. Um, sorry if this is t TMI, but this is an informational video, but I had really bad gas pains and my stomach just hurt so bad. And I don't know if I'm, I got the gas pains from that solution I had to drink or just from taking all the breaths and swallowing air. Um, probably a combination of both, but I had really bad stomach pains and um, really bad diarrhea. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that sounds so gross, but I just wanna be honest with people so you kinda know, I don't know if that's a normal symptom or not, but that's what happened with me. Um, here it is the next morning. I'm still kind of feeling icky, but I can tell my body is recovering. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I stay hydrated, whatever you have to do, stay hydrated afterwards, because I'll tell you, like once I started drinking some water, just resting and everything, I did start to feel a whole lot better. Of course, if you have severe symptoms, of course, contact your doctor, but that's my experience. I don't know if everybody's is going to be exactly the same, um, but that was my experience for the MRI abdomen with contrast. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching.